Hey everyone, thank you for watching. Today's video I'm excited to do. It's going to be all about some new releases from ColourPop. So they did send me over the Midnight Masquerade palette that they have launched in collaboration with Disney. So I am sharing a look from the palette, this look right here. So I'm gonna share how I got this. And I also do have a highlighter that they recently released. This is the Cinderella highlighter and also their new Luxe Liquid Lipstick. This is a new formula to ColourPop. And I'm also trying out their new lash they just launched lashes for the first time so I do try out their lashes in today's video also if you guys are interested in seeing full swatches of the palette I actually do have a short video on my Instagram it's actually on my IGTV but it's like a five minute video I go through and swatch the entire palette and kind of give my first thoughts just on swatching them all of the different shades so I will have that one linked down below if you want to see all of those swatches but I'm excited to share with you how I got to this look so why don't we go ahead and get started welcome okay so let's go ahead and jump into the eye look uh, I want to do something like this this was on the ColourPop Instagram this is from Whitney K Shepherd and I just thought that it was really pretty so I will have um, this linked down below I first was planning to do this video a little bit differently I was actually gonna do three looks and then it kind of it got moved down to two looks and now it's just going to be the one unfortunately one of my husband's aunts did pass away so i'm filming this on tuesday tonight we have services and we'll be with family and then tomorrow we have services again so i will not be filming at all on wednesday and then thursday i do head out to the ipsy uh, live event in new york so my plans got changed around a bit I did film a look yesterday and I was going to have it be on my Instagram but also include it in this YouTube video but I use kind of similar shades so I figured I'm just going to put that one on Instagram if you guys want to see it. I will link it. Um, if it's not up yet it will be coming up but I use kind of the similar shades because again I thought I would be able to do two different looks Monday and Tuesday. I, I didn't realize we were going to be somewhere tonight too and the look I had in mind was something more like this. So this is from uh, Louise Keen and also that I saw on the ColourPop Instagram. I liked the blue and the yellow. That was something I wanted to do. I was going to do more of a halo eye but then I saw this and I thought it was really pretty but uh, I didn't want to have I, I didn't want to wear that for tonight. I wanted to do something just a little bit, you know, different. So that's why I'm going to go with the first uh, inspo photo that I showed you. Uh, I am going to do the lashes because I want to try the ColourPop lashes. I might take them off. But uh, anyways, I just thought that we could do this look. And I hope that you guys still enjoy this video. So um, obviously our plans got a little bit changed around this week. But uh but I'm going to go ahead and hop into it. So it looked like she really just had a lot of Enchanted on the eye. I played around a little bit with the shimmers and then I did use the Royal Ball glitter. I don't normally use a lot of the glitters out of the palettes. I know a lot of people are not loving them, especially the chunky glitter, which is Royal Ball versus Floating Lantern. Like this one's really chunky. This one is more of a pressed glitter, but I know some people also do like it. So I thought I could try to show you how... I just try to show you a look with it since that's something I don't normally do and I want to do something a little bit different from the first look that will be on my Instagram since I'm still going to be kind of in the same color family here. So I'm going to pick up some Enchant It with a crease brush. This is from a Moda Metallics set. It's like the mythical brush set. I will link it down below. I used some of the brushes in last week's Get Ready With Me and I know I had a lot of people asking about that. So um, whenever I'm doing makeup looks, I do list out the makeup I'm using and also tools that I'm using in my description box so if there's anything you're wondering about you can always find it down there but I'm going to just really build this into my crease and I brought it pretty high too like close to my brow but this is the only color so I'm really just putting that all over the lid um, really bringing it to the inner part of my eye too a lot of times I try my best to leave this part of my eye a little bit more um, blank with shadows but it looked like she had it you know just kind of really all over the lid high out inner outer all of that so I'm just going to take my time and build this shadow up uh, I really do like this shade the mattes that I used in my first look I had no issues with so I was happy about that so I will definitely be playing with the palette more getting some more looks created here and uh have a full review coming for you guys soon once I have that shadow 
really built up. I just did a little bit of shimmer in the inner part of my eye. So in my first look, I used a spinning wheel as the shimmer, and that was actually a really cool color. I used a dry brush, and I was really impressed with it. It's It looks just kind of like white in the pan, but it actually has kind of a purple-pink shift to it, and I, think, I thought that it was a really cool shade, especially using it dry. So I'm just going to pick up another brush from that set. This is the shader brush, and I'm going to tap like just really lightly into that shadow and kind of tap this right in the center of the lid still kind of like a halo and then i'm also going to grab just a little bit of mrs potts which is a gold because to me it looked like she almost had like a really light gold in the center of her lid but i was like what shade are you using for that i, I didn't know and i went to her instagram to try to see if she had a tutorial or even just like a list of the different shades but she didn't have it so i'm gonna again just like tap my brush into mrs potts and i'm gonna put that right over spinning wheel and i am bringing it like up to my crease also but then i'm gonna grab just a little bit more of spinning wheel and place it on top because then i didn't want it to be like too too gold so I don't know this I was just kind of playing around and this is what I came up with I'm not I'm not always the best at recreating looks when it's kind of not broken down for me and I just look at something and visually try to break it down in my mind I don't have that like best skill but you know I try my best I try, try to do my best you know so that's kind of the shade that I get there and then I'm gonna use the glitter and a lot of times if I use glitters I don't really use a glitter glue I had to go on a mad hunt this morning looking for my one glitter glue that I own because I couldn't remember where I put it. But if it's something that's a little bit more of this chunkier glitter, I do want to use a glitter glue just to try to help let it stay on my eye. Because the big thing with these glitters is that if they do get into your eye, they can cause eye irritation, scratches, things like that. So you just want to be a little bit more careful with it. So again, you definitely don't have to do this if it's not something that you're comfortable with but I know some people have been frustrated by it but also some people have been liking it and using the glitters and all of that so just trying to do it both ways for you guys so you can get an idea of it uh, so I'm just using a Carity E25 brush it's just a small brush here and I'm using a glitter glue from MBA Cosmetics this is the only glitter glue that I own so first I'm just going to put a little bit of the glitter glue onto the brush and then I'm just going to tap it onto where I have those shadows on my eyes if I didn't lose my mirror here. So I'm just going to go ahead and first just tap down the glitter glue and then I'm going to go into a royal ball and I just kind of press the brush on there and just I just want to pick up a little bit. And I'm going to then tap that right down over that glitter glue. Don't think the glitter, I, like, I think I have more glitter over here than over here, but I don't really work with glitter um, a ton like this. And again, I just kind of wanted to try something new, but that's where I'm going to leave it for now and maybe I'll come back and add a little bit more to this side if I really feel it because I, like I said I'm going to do lashes so we'll, we'll see how it looks but this is just kind of the general gist of it and that's where like that's it so it was pretty simple I look too so uh, I did like that. And then for my liner, it looked like she had more of like a coral liner in her waterline, which I don't have. So I'm just going to use a nude. This is BCC from Milk Makeup. So I'm just going to add this to my waterline. Since I am using lashes, I do like to tight line. Tight line. Not add liner to my tight line, but I'm going to tight line. Learned this in my hot takes video. This is again from Milk Makeup. This is Boss. I like using this when doing lashes because it can kind of help. I don't know. I just feel like it helps kind of blend a little bit more. I did more glitter than her too. I felt like her glitter was a little bit more subtle. But I also feel like her shadow that she had down. Like I don't know what shadow that was. I'm so curious. 
Uh, I am also going to add mascara. This is Brownie Points from ColourPop. So I add in my mascara before I do lashes. I went to tap it off <laughs> on my mirror. No, no, it's made it's just mascara. Pop lashes. So they just released three styles of lashes. These that I chose out that I felt like were most me are the Queenie lashes. So they look like so. So I'm really excited to test them out. So uh, I am going to go ahead and trim these down. I'll add some lash glue and then we will pop these on and see what I think. Okay, the lashes are on. So these are the Queenie lashes from ColourPop. I didn't feel like the bands were the easiest that I've ever worked with, but they also weren't the hardest that I've ever worked with. I'm not wearing a false lashes as much lately, so it was a little bit of a struggle, and I don't think that they're perfectly like even, which can sometimes be a struggle, especially when your eyes are different shapes like mine are. It can be uh, obviously a little bit more challenging, but I think that those are really pretty. I like them, and I actually thought they were going to be a little bit more dramatic, but they almost... Like, they're not natural looking, but they're not too dramatic, I don't think. So, again, this is the style Queenie. I'm not sure if I'll keep them on all day or not. Um, but I actually liked the three different styles that they came out with. So, I'll definitely be trying them a little bit more and let you know what I think. So, I just need to finish off the Laura Lash Line. So, coming back into the palette, again, looking at that inspo pick, it looked like she just had a bunch of Enchanted on the Laura Lash Line. So, we already did the waterline. I'm just coming back in with that crease brush and I'm going to pick up a little bit more of Enchant It and really kind of smoke it out on the lower lash line. So it's a really simple look but it can get just a little bit complicated when you add in like glitter and lashes and all of that. Then for the inner corner I'm just going to grab just a touch of spinning wheel to put that in the inner corner since it does have that shift to it. I just want like a little something in here and I'm going to leave out a brow bone highlight. The more that I look at my lashes, the more I feel like they're just like super uneven, but that's okay. I don't think I'm going to keep them on for tonight, so it's all good. Uh, okay, so to finish it off, I also wanted to use the Cinderella highlighter. This is the horse and carriage highlighter and I loved that they sent me Cinderella because she's one of my favorites and this highlighter is totally like a me highlight. I think that is really, really pretty. So I'm excited to wear this. So I'm just going to grab another brush from that Moda collection. And this one is the highlight and glow. Uh, and then I'm just going to go ahead and add a little bit to my cheeks. I did wear this yesterday also, and it's a color pop highlight. It is very blinding. This one almost reminds me just a touch of Fluxitarian but in a in like the regular pressed formula versus the super shock formula so it is you just need a little bit and it's going to be super blinding again i don't know i might just like wash my whole face after we're done filming and just go like very minimalistic or i don't know i might try to t tame down the highlight just a little bit too for tonight but we'll see how it goes i'm also just going to touch a little bit above the eyebrow and then do a little bit down my nose also. So for the lipstick, they also sent the one from the Cinderella collection. This is called Prince Charming. So this is their new formula, which is the Lux Liquid Lipstick. So they have the Lux Lipsticks. So this is what the applicator looks like. And then the swatch of Prince Charming is there. So I wore this the other day too. I didn't necessarily love this pink a ton. So after I got done filming my look for Instagram, I added some uh, Oh Snap Lip Liner from ColourPop to kind of help like n make it more of a neutral pink more than this pink. It's just not really like, it's a nice pink, but not a pink that I wear a ton. So I liked it with Oh Snap. The formula is pretty sheer when you first put it on. It's pretty sheer. I had to layer it actually three times. It's definitely more of a thin formula. It never felt too like liquid lip-like on my lips. It's definitely more of like a sheer formula. So it's a lot different than their ultra matte lips and um, 
and it just, I mean, it definitely was different. So if you guys are wondering if it's different, it definitely is. I don't know if it's my absolute favorite though. And I didn't feel like even after a couple hours of wear, like I kind of noticed it wearing away in the center. Uh, so I don't know. ColourPop doesn't have a lot of my favorite, favorite lip formulas. I do really like their lip liners, but I'm not sure this one is going to become a new favorite, but I will go ahead and apply this first so you can see it. So this is just one layer on the bottom lip. It actually reminds me a little bit of like their Ultra Blotted formula. That's what I think this would be the most similar to, but it has like a little bit more impact than the Ultra Blotted lips. So that is two layers. So I'm going to go ahead and keep it like that because I think I might add some lip liner or a gloss. So this is what Prince Charming is looking like on its own and you can like rub your lips together so again a lot of liquid lipsticks you really can't it doesn't dry down like it didn't appear to dry down completely and i noticed transfer here and there when i was wearing it yesterday but it always kind of had that more like comfortable feeling and being able to, to press your lips together first i'm just gonna add a little lip liner and see how i feel about that this is from ColourPop. this is in bff uh, i'm just gonna add a little bit of this and see what i think that might have been too light to make a big difference like I feel like I noticed a subtle difference but still like it's still just not a favorite so I'm going to top it with some Fenty uh, gloss bomb this is in fussy so this is the pink and we'll see what I think about that like adding just a little bit of gloss it's still like a little bit too pink for me I like more of like a nude or a neutral pink, but I think that will be okay. So that is where I'm going to wrap it up for today's video. This is my look using the Midnight Masquerade palette from ColourPop, their lashes, and then also the highlight and luxe liquid lip from their new Disney designer collection. Let me know your thoughts down below. Did you guys grab the palette? Are you thinking about grabbing it? Uh, I, of course, would love to know. Or the lashes. I definitely want to play around with the lashes a little bit more. I don't think this is my best ever application for lashes but it was still fun to try them out and again this is queenie and i thought that they were really pretty and again i do like the pressed highlighter the lip i'll try it a few more times i don't think it's going to be a favorite of mine like a favorite formula of mine but if you like those ultra blotted lips i think that you would like the new luxe liquid lips other than that that is going to wrap it up for today's video thank you guys so much for watching uh, i appreciate your support mitch and i have both appreciated your comments that you have sent in so thank you guys so much for that uh yeah other than that though if you guys did enjoy today's video i hope that you'll give it a thumbs up i hope that you'll also consider subscribing before you go and i will see you in my next video